Hey guys, welcome back to Out the Bunker Podcast with DT. I am sitting here with Troy Kelly from Binar Futures. Uh, Troy, welcome, man. Thank you, yeah. Uh, so, look, tell us a little bit about um, Binar and what they're trying to do and achieve, I guess, with the community. You guys are everywhere. Your imprint in basketball in WA has grown to, like, a crazy amount of participation yeah. with kids, adults, everything. I don't think there's been a comp that I've been in that there hasn't been a Binar <laughs> team in, yeah. right? Um, so, tell us a bit about how that all started and then, I guess what your involvement is now yeah so what it started over you know over 10 years ago as just a just a small group team of um, young indigenous guys that just wanted to play basketball running out of midland um, i wasn't a part of that group i actually grew up versing that group a lot um, okay but over, that i didn't know yeah but over the years um you know just thought that Adam Desmond, the um, founder of, of Binar, yep. um, what he was doing well, with that he? group of guys, I just it was something that I wanted to be a part of. And once I stepped into it, it was something that, you know, it sort of changed my life um, to the point where I'm now working full time for them. Um, Love it, man. Congrats. Yeah, I think, I guess our mission is to just, um, you know, bring positivity to um, all people, you know, we can touch, not just Indigenous, um, you know, anyone, and we just use basketball as our segue to do that. Yeah, yeah, man, it's it's honestly so good to see. I can still remember you as a young kid, man, playing Monday nights down at Coburn, yeah. <laughs> and that team that you had together, was it Clem? Yeah, we Clem, had Clem, Clem was kind of the leader he, there, and he would he pull you guys into line, and I thought it was so cool to see that leadership from an older guy and I spoke with um, Isaiah Wally uh, Stack before about how he was part of I guess like when you look at Binar the older generation mixing with the younger generation yeah. and you guys are the leaders on the court and when a kid kind of gets out of control you pull him back in the line yeah. and you set them straight man and I love seeing that because that is something that old guys in the past never did yeah. it was all about themselves oh. you guys now is just like it's so um, inspirational to yeah, see, man. Yeah, no, I, I, what Isaiah said is true. Like, I think not just for myself, but I see it in a lot of the older guys now at Binar. Um, you know, always just sort of trying to model that behaviour on the court for the for the young guys because you know when you're young, you're a hothead. Um, yeah. Oh things yeah. Aren't, things aren't going to go your way on the court. Yeah. But, um, you know, I just try to show, tell him, you know, like just you know, look at Binar and look where we look where we came from and look where we are now. Like, it's amazing, man. Like. This stuff on the court is just a bonus. Just let's just keep having fun with it. For sure. So I guess what's your plans for Bina being at the Rhinos competition? I guess like is it about growing, I guess, your program or is it about actually coming out here and do you guys have a team in there that's gonna challenge some of these top teams here? Yeah, yeah, 100 percent I'm very um, I'm very competitive. I would never put my team in a comp that I didn't think we could we couldn't win. Okay, I like um, that. So definitely here to win, but again, um, the more we can play in these types of high level comps that are as close to NBL 1 as can be, the better it is for us as, you know, we're constantly trying to knock on that door of wobble yeah, status and then, you know, further pushing for, you know, NBL 1 status whenever that comes. I may be a bit too old then, but, you know, well, I mean, um, it's, it's just about staying ready. It's so cool about Will Yaron now seeing him at Coburn. Yeah. Yep. You know, starting out there. But that dude just doesn't stop playing. He does. I feel like you guys are just everywhere, man. Like, Jace and Will yep. play on God knows how many teams, man. And they remind me of Damien Scott. Yeah. Damo yep. plays everywhere at any time, and he doesn't care who he plays for. You guys are so similar, man. Like, you're just always man, around playing. I remember there was about a two-year two year period where we were versing our Binar teams would be versing Damo Scott like two, three times <laughs> yeah, a week. Bro, like, guaranteed. We we said, man, we've got to get this guy a Binar jersey just because of how much we're seeing him. Like, that's how often we <laughs> Dude, were doing it. Dude, I'm not kidding Binar. you. Monday night, he played Saturday night for Willerton, right? Obviously went out, partied after the <laughs> loss, right? He was there Monday night playing at Coburn. Wow. And I looked and I was like, dude, can you just give us a break? <laughs> like, we don't need you playing here, man. We're all older dudes. We don't need you running out there. And he came out, still played well, and I'm just like, fire out, man. How the hell do you do it? But he loves it, and I think that's what it is with us. Like, we love it as well. Yeah. And um, You can see it. It comes out a, in your product. It's just a matter of, you know, we're trying to get into these high-level comps as much as possible to not just to prove that we can do it, but to, like, like it's just fun. Like, we enjoy it. So. Yeah, man. Look, I love what you guys are doing. I'm happy to promote you guys any way we can because 
I feel like getting more culture and stuff like that into Australian sport is a is a positive in any way you spin it, right? Yeah. I don't care whether it's Greek, Italian, Indigenous, Sudanese, I don't care what the hell it is, but getting more multiculturalism, because sport brings everyone together, right? Politics doesn't, right? But sport brings everyone together, and I feel like that's just such a huge thing, what you guys are doing with the Rhinos and with Binar. I think it's just amazing, man, and nothing but hats off to you guys. I can't take it off, my head's too big. Um, but I truly love what you guys are doing, so, yeah, big props to you guys, man. Thank you. Thank and I appreciate so everything uh, for coming to sit down with us, and hopefully you guys get another win on this court. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> All right, brother, I appreciate you. All right, take care, bud.